Hello everyone, today in this video we are going to learn about successor and predecessor of a number and how to find it. So before starting let us first know what is a successor and a predecessor. So first we will start with a predecessor. So a predecessor is a number or a value that precedes the original number. That means it comes immediate before the number. For example, if we want to find the predecessor of 39, our original number will be 39. And the number which comes just before this number will be its predecessor. So the predecessor of 39 will be 38. To find the predecessor of any number, we just need to subtract 1 from the original number. On the other hand, a successor is a number that succeeds the original number. That means the successor of any number will be the number which comes immediate after the original number. For example, if we want to find the successor of 51, it will be 52, the number which comes just after 51. For finding the successor of any number, we need to add 1 to the number. So let us now solve some examples and find the predecessor and successor of few numbers. So first we will find the predecessor of these numbers. So the first one is 94. Predecessor of 94 will be 94 minus 1 which is equal to 93. Next we have 10,000. For finding the predecessor of 10,000 we are going to subtract 1 from 10,000. So we are going to get 9,999. The next one is 2,8,090. And we are going to subtract 1 to find the predecessor which is going to be 2,8,089. No. The next one is 76,54,321. We'll subtract 1 to find the predecessor. So this will be 76,54,320. Now we have an integer. And for finding the predecessor of integer process, which is subtracting 1 from it, Negative 1 and negative 1 will get added and we are going to get negative 2 as the predecessor of negative 1. So the predecessor of negative 1 is negative 2 and this we can understand by using a number line. In the number line we see that negative 2 is on the left hand side of negative 1 and the value of negative 2 is less than the value of negative 1. Hence the predecessor of negative 1 is negative 2. Next one is 10. So 10 minus 1 is 9. Predecessor of 10 is 9. And the last one is negative 5. Here too we are going to subtract the two numbers and we are going to get negative 6 because the value of negative 6 is 1 less than the value of negative 5. So in this way by subtracting 1 from the original number we can find the predecessor of any number. Let us now move on to the examples of finding the successor of numbers. So first one is 24,40,701. For finding the successor, we are going to add 1 to the number. So the successor is 24,40,702. Next one is 1,199. So we are going to add 1. So we will get 1 lakh. 200. Next one is 10,99,999. And when we add 1, we will get 11 lakhs. The next one is 23,45,670. When we add 1, we are going to get 23,45,671. The next example is of a negative integer and we need to find the successor of this integer. So we add 1 and when we add 1, we are not going to get negative 10, we are going to get negative 8. Because in the number line or in negative integers, the value of negative 8 is, is 1 more than the value of negative 9. The next one is 40. The successor of 40 is 41. 
the last one is negative 3 so negative 3 plus 1 will be negative 2 cause the value of negative 2 is more than the value of negative 3 by 1 so negative 2 is the successor of negative 3 so this is all about successor and predecessor I hope this video is helpful to you. If you like the video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more math videos. Thanks for watching.